What a voice! Well, she knew exactly what she wanted to be doing from age four. And while busking for her supper in Ireland, she was discovered, and the rest, as they say, is history. Now, signed by Sony with a stunning new album, please welcome to the cafe, Rebecca Nelson. Yes! Welcome! So, tell us about this busking in Ireland. Yeah, because busking has been your jam for a while, it hasn't was, it? It was, yeah. I was a busker for about five to six years, so I did it for a long time, full time. So, yeah, I started in Ireland in the UK. I did, was over there for about two years and then came home to Christchurch and went via Nelson and lived in Auckland now. And what was your big ba uh, break, Rebecca? When did you go, ooh, cool, things are getting serious now? Well, it all started in Dublin where I was spotted and I was asked to tour with the priests as their guest soloist around Ireland. Wow. And then from there, little things took place, you know, all along the way, but mainly here in New Zealand where I was spotted by the Royal New Zealand Navy. Now, this is a fascinating story. So once again, you were busking in Devonport yes. on the street and somebody from the Navy just walks by and goes, oh, she sounds pretty Good. Yeah, basically he was secretly auditioning me, auditioning me. I didn't know at the time, and um, he'd seen me a couple of times, and yeah, got asked to tour with them as their guest soloist around um, the North Island, and they were testing me to see how I would work with the band and if I would enjoy it and things like that. And then as soon as we got back, I got asked to sign the dotted line. So you're in the Navy. So I am in the Navy. In the Navy. Yeah. No, 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 I knew you were going to do that. Yeah, no, no. I'll save the singing for you. Um, so, okay, what's been your most memorable performance to date? What's one that stands out for you? I think it would be the first time of heading to Gallipoli. Um, that was back in 2014, and I've been really lucky, lucky and blessed to go twice. I went back in 2015, but the first time standing there and taking it all in. Because you were there for the 100 year celebrations yeah, or commemorations yeah, as well. Yes, and I sang the New Zealand national anthem and that's just something that I how do you, remember How do you forever. get through that without having tears and tingles? Because it must be such an emotional, I've been to Gallipoli but it's mm. at a normal time of year so I can't imagine how emotional that must be to be singing yeah, our anthem. Absolutely, it's just one of those things that you're standing on stage and you say right, breathe and then sing and afterwards you can break down you know once the job yeah. is done but yeah it is it's tough i mean it's high pressure it's great though you yeah. did a great job oh thank you and you did a great job too on this album absolutely beautiful some of my favorite tracks i love pa yesu oh. i sang that as a little kid when i was at school <laughs> um bring them home as well i sang um, but i wanted to know with the you uh, white cliffs of dover there's that is it the crackling of the record at the start of the track yes yeah, so that's my tribute to vera lynn nice okay so, cool. yeah, yeah. So and I your decision? Yes, absolutely. Right. I wanted to pay tribute to the era that the music came out, out on, and it wasn't so clear. So we started off being back on like the crackling on a, you know, oh, I loved gramophone, it. Yeah. and then like coming through to the new age. So yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, this is well worth getting Thank this you. album. Brilliant I'm work. I'm very proud of it. Great to have you on the show. Rebecca will be performing Poppies and Bahutakawa from her album, also titled Poppies and Bahutakawa, towards the end of the show. Thank you. Look forward to that. Thank you.